Hi class, so I'm going to do a demonstration drawing of this flower to give you an idea of how to go about it. Um, I'm going to do it in pencil like we did in the classroom and I might do it in one straight sitting but I wanted you to see the flower I was drawing before I actually draw it. Put it in an orange, or, uh, an orange vase, I'm going to move it to a shelf and show you how I'd go about starting it. I'm using uh, an F pencil, okay? And I've, I've trimmed it with an X-Acto knife because I want to get a little distance as I go. I'm gonna draw upscale a little bit. And one of the things that I try to push you guys to do is to work from general to specific. So this is the overall shape of that flower. I know it's circular. And I know it's an oval, but it's got it's got edges on it that I want to include. I'm going to be real loose when I draw it, sketchy. I'm going to look for things like its center, okay? And I know that its center should connect to its stem, which I'll take off the paper. Now, some of the questions I was getting asked in the classroom were, how do you deal with some of the extended petals? I'm not going to worry about those right now. What I'm going to look for now is a system to work with. Almost like it's an arena. And I'm going to think about condition. So my lights are up there and I've got a light coming down that way from over in that corner. So it's actually, it's in a really attractive spot. And note, if you'll notice, this pencil will make a mark. Oh, great. Sorry about that. I'm going to go to another one. We'll make a mark that dark. So, or I might even use one with a regular tip now. But I don't want to switch out from this. This is actually an HB. You'll probably be able to see it a little bit better. So that's an F pencil that I was using. And now that's an HB. I'm looking for darks right now. And darks for the yellows are not easy to find. I'm looking for breaks, like that a petal moves out from here. And then another one overlaps it. As they come closer to me, they're gonna be a little bit bigger. Or as they extend out, There's lots of highlights from where they kind of nest together. I'm not gonna be too exact with it, but I'm just getting the idea of the highlights. I'll, I'll kind of like work those up as I go. And against the highlights, if there's a highlight, there's also gonna be a shadow. So I'll sit those back a little bit in the shadow.
I'm looking for landmarks. I'm not saying the landmarks will stay in exactly the same spots I put them. I might move stuff around, but a landmark's a place where I can kind of rest my eye and study an area. Like I found three, three pretty much identical petals up here and they're kind of nested as a group. So why don't I draw them together as one form and then I'll look what's below them. And there seems to be a straight line that goes below them and then another one pops up and I start to count them a little bit. And the, the trick is not trying to, to render every single one of them. We don't have that kind of time in the classroom, but what we do have time to do is to kind of capture the feel of the whole form. I'll punch in a little bit of dark and light or punching in a little bit of dark, which will reveal light. Um, I might be very general with the background, making long strokes in the background to kind of like shade it a little bit, to kind of set up a situation where the flower moves away from the wall. You know, one of the things that I've learned over the years is how to make even strokes and put the same amount of pressure on the tip of my pencil. And if you look carefully at my pencil, when you do something like that, it actually sharpens it up a little bit. Now on the front side, you'd see longer petals because they're not blocked. They're still bunched but they're longer and their shape might be a little bit larger. And this idea of little dots and stuff like that, that may go by the wayside. I mean, that just might help me line up a form like I'm doing right now. Think about where your light source is. It's coming from up there, so shadow is gonna be down here. You probably see a little bit of shadow down here. Carry your darker mark down that place. Or this one wraps around. This one reaches out and it comes out from here. There's another one that sneaks into this space. And it's bumped up again by another one. And these are all going in that direction. They're going in, they're wrapping inside. And then when they open, they come out. 